today we're going to install a set of the uh, Redline RS door poles on this 2009 Mini Cooper. Um, pretty simple installation. You need uh, just some simple tools, screwdriver, uh, needle nose, you can need a 10 millimeter socket, and two Torx bits, a T25 and a T30. Uh, to start the install, pretty simple. You're going to remove the uh, door handle here. Simply pop it off. Next, you're going to remove this trim ring around the door pole. And by, to do this, you got to remove this little clip off the bottom. And then just simply pop the bezel out like that. Next, thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the, uh, the door card itself. And that just pops in. Just grab it in the back, start pulling it. Work your way around. Pull it up over the top of the lock pin. And then there's a light at the bottom here. Just pop the light out the bottom, turn it, and push it up through the side of the door card like that. You set the door side, door card aside. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this, uh, this component housing right here. And we're not going to remove it completely, we're just going to loosen it up and we're going to release it from the door so that we can uh, disconnect the cable on the back side of the handle. Take a T30 bit and remove all the torch bits around here. There's 11 total. Rubber up. There's three torx bits on here. On the front, there's two torx bits, and then there's a 10 millimeter nut. Take this rubber boot right here and just pop it off the front and just pick it up like that. You see it just has a couple little holes, but it goes through here and a couple little rubber nubs on it. Okay, so that basically releases the entire uh, component card. Um, what you're going to want to do now is just take the component card, pick it up, and pull it out from the door a little bit. And that will give you a few inches in here so you can get your hand behind there to release the cable from behind this handle. Um, next thing we're going to do, it's a little bit, a little bit tricky. Um, I'm going to have Tom come in and put the camera down here. But once I pull it out, it'll, uh, you'll understand it completely. I'll show you how it works. What I like to do is take a piece of foam or a piece of wood or something and stick it between the window and the, uh, the component housing here. Um, we'll take a light and I'll shine it in here. hope you can see what we're doing. All we're going to do is we want to release the cable from the back side of the handle and it's just a little clip right here. And if you just you just pop it off like that you grab it here and I'll pull it up so you can see what it looks like. It's a pretty simple clip. Just got, a, just got the cable going through it. And once I get the handle out, you'll see exactly how that goes together. Take your T25 bit. Remove those two screws. 
disconnect the wire. And now the handle comes right out. And you can just see how this handle just simply pops into place. Just like that. That's all it's doing. And then you're just prying it off like that behind the door. All right, now we're going to take the handle and we're going to go over to the bench and we're going to put the RS door pull in. All right, all you're going to do on this is there's a little pin in here and just a little plastic pin. You just want to pop it out like that. Next thing you're going to do is release the spring. You won't, won't be using that spring again, so throw it off the side. The plastic handle now simply pulls right out of the housing. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with the RS handle. This goes in exactly like the factory unit. Slide it in. Line up the hole. And slide the pin in. That is it. Now we're going to take it back to the car and put it all back together. I'm going to walk you through putting this back on and then after that um, I'm going to get this thing put back together and we'll come back and uh, we'll put the bezel on because that's the, uh, the last thing that you need to know how to install. Pop this guy back in like that. Pop that on like that, and that's it for that. I'm going to get this back together, and uh, we'll come back in a little bit. All right, as you can see, we got the door uh, fully assembled now, and the only thing left to do is to put in the trim piece that comes with the red line uh, RS door pole kit, um, and put the bezel back on. Uh, this has got some, uh, some cutouts in it that are designed to snap right into the back of this trim ring. Uh, you just got to make sure that you have it timed correctly. This goes in like that, and you see that it has four little clips on the back here. Put it in there, pops into place like that. Slide your strap through. Snap it into place. And then just put your little pin back into the bottom. And that's it. That's all there is to it. The whole installation will probably take you, oh, I don't know, probably 10, 15 minutes per door. And uh, that's it.